And we win all three. Hey, I'll take that, man. What's up, noobs? I'm Greer. This is Greener Gaming. Log in and let's go. Okay, so today we're going to be playing another high evolutionary counter deck. And I got this list from Alexander Kocha. And I made a little bit of a tweak to it. He was originally running Namor because this is an ongoing list. Uh, I took out Namor and I put in Hitmonkey. But we'll talk about that in a second. So let's just go through the deck really quick. All right, like I said, we have an ongoing deck here. Uh, this is an anti-Eva Wong ongoing, AKA Wong going. So we have Ant-Man in here, really solid one drop ongoing card. If uh, you have three other cards here, plus three power, that's pretty easy to uh, accomplish because we're running Sarah in this deck as well. We have Hitmonkey in here on reveal game plus two power for each other card you played this turn. Um, this is really good with Sarah for your final turn. And since we're running Wong, uh, I, I wanted another on reveal in this list to uh, put in the Wong lane just in case. Um, the other one is Spectrum, obviously, because it's an ongoing list, but we'll get into that. The man of the hour, Luke Cage, ongoing, your cards can have their power reduced. This is pretty much a staple in the uh, current meta because of all the high Evo stuff. We have Zabu in here to discount your four cost cards and we're running three four cost cards, so he's pretty spicy. We have armor in here, uh, protects your Ant-Man, also protects your Typhoid Mary. Ongoing, your other cards have negative one power. So that works, this card works really well with Luke Cage because obviously he negates her ongoing effect, but she still keeps her ongoing tag so you don't have to silence her. And then you can hit her with Spectrum later. One of the best two drops in the game, especially if you're running Luke Cage, uh, we got Lizard in here, a solid 2-5. I mean, the ongoing negative four power, but like I said, if you're running Luke Cage, that doesn't happen. Mr. Fantastic, just a solid ongoing card. You want to put him mid if possible. Um, you know, plus two power at each other location helps you contest the entire board. Also another target for Spectrum. And we're running Super Scrawl. Ongoing has the ongoing effects of all your enemy cards. What I have noticed is that high Evo decks are teching in Enchantress to get rid of your Luke Cage but they're also running Luke Cage. So the idea is uh, if they silence off your Luke Cage, you pop down Super Scroll and you get their Luke Cage. This card also works well with things like if your opponent's running Null in Galactus decks. Then we have Wong ongoing your reveal abilities at this location happen twice. So he's in here because you want to buff up all your ongoing stuff with Spectrum. So you put Spectrum in a Wong lane um, you'd probably be able to play two cards on turn six if you put Sarah down on turn five. So you could Spectrum and Ant-Man or Spectrum and Hitmonkey or Spectrum and Luke Cage, you know, whatever you need. And he also gets hit with Spectrum because he's ongoing. We already talked about Typhoid Mary, just a solid 10 power for four cost. Uh, with Zabo, she goes down to three. With Sarah, she goes down to two. And then we have Sarah. I love this card, man. I make so many videos about Sarah and Sarah decks. <laughs> I mean, she's just one of my favorite cards in the game, you know? Uh, cost reduction is just so incredible. And uh, unless you get hit by a wave on turn five or a Sandman, in which case, if you get hit by those, just bounce. Just take your one cube loss and run. And then we have Spectrum on reveal. Give your ongoing cards plus two power. So if you have a bunch of stuff down the board, which you should between your Ant-Man, Luke Cage, Zabu, Armor, Lizard, whatever all that stuff and yeah and she gives you a solid plus two power and right now i'm not seeing a lot of spectrum on the ladder so maybe people won't expect it and if you don't hit spectrum on the final turn you can just uh if you have sarah down on five and you have zabu down already you can spam out a bunch of stuff then put hit monkey in your wong lane and it gets pretty big okay so that's pretty much the deck hey are you sick of high evolutionary already i sure am by the way if you're new here why don't you hit that subscribe button for a guy huh we got a bunch of new subscribers in the past couple of days so i want to thank all you guys for subscribing it means a lot preach okay let's just get into the games Okay, we can just go Ant-Man here. Bit awkward. Well, I guess we're committing.
Maybe we play Super Scroll. And play it under Luke Cage Lane in case they have Enchantress. And then we go Typhoid Mary mid, maybe. Oh boy, do I just play Wong? I mean, I could go Wong armor, then hit Spectrum next turn. Maybe that's not enough. Can we win over here? Maybe we have to put power here, actually. He's just gonna play the Hulk, huh? Ah, uh, whatever. I'm playing it out. And we win all three. Hey, I'll take that, man. Okay, let's go Ant Man. Hit him with Lizard. We can go Fantastic here. Hopefully they don't have anything big here. Alrighty. Where do we put the power? Over here probably, right? Okay, so I feel like we go. Actually, we go Spectrum Hit Monkey, right? Hopefully, this is enough. And it is indeed enough. Let's chill. I guess we chill again. Um, hit him with fantastic. Wong here. I 
And then Sarah. Interesting choice. Yeah, Typhoid Mary, Luke Cage, Ant Man, Hit Monkey. scary <laughs> all right let's chill hit him with a uh, lizard Then we go with uh, Fantastic, mid. I really hope Sakaar doesn't pull Spectrum. Okay, Wong's not bad. Um, we can just play Typhoid Mary mid. Okay. Do they have any on reveal? They have the thing. We go Sarah here. Okay. The Hulk's gonna be how big? I wasn't keeping track. Do we think Zavu Luke Cage is enough mid? And then hit monkey over here? Or is it just Luke Cage Spectrum? Alright, let's go for this. Feels so good, baby. Okay, let's hit him with uh, Ant-Man. Then we go with Zabu. Fantastic mid. Okay, so I guess we're going super scroll over here. Go Typhoid Mary and Luke Cage. And then Spectrum. Hope this is enough. Good thing they wasted Enchantress mid.
and Doom is not big enough. Alright, let's hang out. Uh, we can hit him with Zabu here. This lane's pretty safe for like our Luke Cage too, if we get him. Oh boy, on reveal. So we can just play out Typhoid Mary here. Do we think this is Galactus? I can go Wong here. Place Sarah over here. We didn't get hit, monkey. I think they're gonna want to play Super Scroll, though, right? I mean, <laughs> I think they're gonna want to play Null. And we go Super Scroll Lizard. Ooh, baby, you love to see it. I know this game is not against High Evolutionary, but that was so spicy, I'm leaving it in. Okay, let's chill. Of course, I draw the perfect card on two and I have to float, great. I guess we Zavu, because I need to get Wong out. Or maybe we go Lizard Luke Cage. have Spectrum in hand, so I think I have to go Typhoid Mary. I pull Spectrum off the top. Great. There we go. Do I just play Spectrum? I hope this is enough. Of course they have Shang-Chi. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh Okay, let's go Ant-Man. Then we go Zabu. Um, we could hit him with Super Scroll. He 
You gotta be kidding me with that. Okay, we go. Oh, this is kind of brutal, huh? Kind of don't want to waste Hit Monkey, you know? So maybe we just play Luke Cage and hope we get a Spectrum. Actually, maybe we do play Hit Monkey. We have Spectrum. So we could just Wong. Then we hit him with Spectrum. I reveal first so Cosmo doesn't matter. They just had to play something really big. That's a pretty spicy win. I know not against uh, Haivo, but yeah, let's leave it in. All right, I had a lot of fun with this deck. Uh, it felt pretty solid. I'm not sure if it's as good as the last counter video I made, the Sarah Surfer deck. That seemed a little more consistent. In this one, it really does seem like you either need to pull Luke Cage or your opponent needs to play Luke Cage so you can hit him with Super Scroll. And if you don't do one of those two things, um, you might be in trouble, especially because Typhoid Mary sort of helps out their game plan. You know what I mean? And I've been seeing uh, people tech in Rogue. So maybe like you could take out Mr. Fantastic or even Hit Monkey and put in Cosmo just to protect your Luke Cage. But overall, still a really solid deck. Still worked pretty darn good against high evolutionary decks and as you saw in the video works well against some other decks too yeah i put a little like non high evo games at the end sure why not not every matchup out there is going to be against high evo am i right but you try the deck out for yourself tell me what you think about it in the comment section below hey if you like the video why don't you click that like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and anyway gg